We're gonna go on to something a little bit more serious. Check out this next topic. 6.9 earthquake rocks Myanmar. Child accidentally shot while in hospital's emergency room. Emergency brake malfunction sends bus rolling. Accidents and natural disasters happen all the time and are unpredictable, unexpected, and always inconvenient. In fact, according to the CDC, over 136 million people visit the emergency room each year. Knowing what to do during a medical emergency can mean the difference between life and death. Are you prepared? It's certainly our goal to keep you safe and informed, so we called in a very special expert to give us some emergency tips. Please welcome the original Hulk and special deputy sheriff. Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Nice to have you on the show. How are you? Good. Good. You know, a lot of people don't know that you are the real deal. You're a deputy sheriff. 12 years. Really? Yeah, Los Angeles and uh, San Luis Obispo. My father used to be a uh, NYPD lieutenant, so I've always been fascinated with law enforcement. I said, why not? So I went through the academy, became a certified uh, deputy. So if I mention your name, I'll get out of a ticket? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, just, your... I'm just kidding. And that's why, of course, Lou is here to share three things that we have to have in our emergency kit. Okay. Yes, the first one is uh, what you have is called clean wrap, especially if you have like a Band-Aid over a wound, prevent water getting into the, the wound, especially, you know, in the... So just regular household saran wrap? Yeah, you, you could call it clean wrap, clean wrap, whatever. Like if you have a Band-Aid over a wound, this will protect water from getting into it. Okay. So just, to, just to prevent, a, to create an occlusive dressing, exactly. which we like to use post-surgical that we'll put on mm. right. something similar to clay. So you can get to the ER. Or get well, to and the everyone place. worries when there's a wound, they worry about the actual wound and how does it look. The truth is the big concern is infection and exactly. certainly pollutants getting in there. So I like that. And then you've got this Stops Bleeding product. What's uh, that all about? Okay, this one I'm here for, and this is, FDA proved it would stop any bleeding situation, anything. If I was like a limb, gunshot, wound, laceration, anything. Oh Say you got an arrow in your leg or something, you get shot, and you have to probably a tourniquet. Yep. With this one, you only need a tourniquet after like an hour because it will stop the bleeding immediately. What any is kind of it? Pressure. What's in that bag? It's a powder form. It's white powder. So it's you like apply, gel for example, you have any kind of cut, you apply pressure, it stops bleeding nope, immediately. No, you do put it in water? Or you put it no, just apply it right, right on the wound. Can I open one? It is sort of like Avatine, you know, other other yeah. Product, powders yes. that, that we use, we put directly on a bleed. And, to get and of course, bleed. we all know, too, if you don't know anything else to do, is if you see someone and you're worried they're going to bleed out, pressure yeah. is your best friend. Now, Lou, before we go, I love this concept. You've got a straw over there that no matter yeah, what the situation. Yeah, this is called the life straw, for example, if you're out somewhere and uh, in a dangerous situation. You can't survive without water. So with this straw, if there's dirty water, it will filter it. So this way, you're at the body That's amazing. Some water. Have you seen the show Naked and Afraid? Where they're at? I, they need that. Like, I, I would be drinking. Once I get afraid, I'd be drinking everywhere. And I, I thought about that. I would die. Yeah, but that's why these are the three main necessities you have in the emergency kit. Because any kind of bleeding situation. And what Lou, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. We'll be right back.